Well, hello there, chums. This is I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I've already done a wish list video, but I kept that quite realistic. But now I'm going to go to town and tell you some of the things that I would like to see come into No Man's Sky in 2023. Now, some of these are going to be a little bit of a, a throwback to the old past. So let me just bring up on screen what I'm talking about. So here we go, and three action. Okay, so over on the screen here, you can see here you've got the E3 Diplo and the Super Formula, the patented Super Formula that could cause legal headaches for No Man's Sky. Well, it, it probably did because the Super Formula, as you know, got redacted from the actual game and, um, yeah, therefore has reduced perhaps some of the variation we may see on planets. It's like when you look at every single tree inside of this image, they all look different. Now, at the start of a lot of the trailers to No Man's Sky, you get every fish, tree, bush, rock, plant, grass, whatever, all procedural, all procedural. Yet what we're seeing is more like crafted assets that are being procedurally placed. And when I say procedurally placed, it's actually by uber noise, as Sean Murray calls it. So it's not even procedurally placed, really. So what is procedural in this procedural adventure and game? That's a good question. So a lot of the creatures are actually knitted together procedurally. Like each creature has got like a head, it's got legs, it's got a body piece, and it stitches them all together procedurally in a roundabout way. But this giant Diplo here seems to be a crafted asset. Again, its legs aren't separate, its head isn't separate, nothing about this has been separated. And we still don't have majestic beasties like this frequenting our planets inside of No Man's Sky, but I would like to see procedural maybe mega faunas added onto planets. That was inside of my wish list that I said could technically be reasonable but I would like to see it done to this sort of level I and mean, there's also a rhino that crashes through the trees here and I'd love to see that sort of creature come into play too yeah and uh, scrolling down a little bit further it talks about these legal issues now the US patent for this was actually granted back in 2009 now as you know with patents you have to keep them renewed and you have to keep the patent up to date so going over to the actual super formula over here, you can look into the actual map that sits behind it. But what it does is it generates random sort of objects like this, which is pretty darn cool. And when you apply it to something 3D, you can get some pretty darn epic looking structures coming out of a super formula. Imagine rocks that have been given this super formula or trees or anything like that. Then it sort of changes their look and feel. It'd make everything feel more organic and more alive if the Super Formula came into play. So, the Super Formula has actually expired. So I made this video some time ago. It's quite hard to find it on the old tube of you. It sort of gets a little bit buried. But here you go. This is what I had to say going back two years ago. So here you go. Let me just play a little snippet of this into this area here and takes you straight into the actual um, patent in question. On mobile you get a side menu rather than a top menu and on the side menu you have to go into legal or something like that to get the actual breakdown. So in here is all the gubbings around how the actual um, the, the patent or super formula works. If you look at the super formula on here there's so much more than what's on wiki. Oh my god, I, I, I spent a little while reading some of this stuff. It freaking blew my mind. And I've done quantum physics. But yeah, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the actual um, the legal type page, all the way, all the way down at the very bottom, it says patent ceased. And you can see there the expiry of rights. And uh, yeah, because it's, it's been a full 20 years or something mental, which is awesome. It, it's crazy. Just blowed my mind. Heck yes. Hello. <laughs> right, okay, so I don't know whether you could see that all that well. I mean, I had the quality pretty low there, but let's just skip back just for a second. Let's bring it up on the screen here. So yes, yeah, so back in 2020, in May, the patent actually ceased. And from what I'm understanding, I don't believe they've renewed it. I mean, I could go and Google this right now. You know what? Let me do that quickly. I won't be as. Okay, well, here we go. I've brought it up on the screen, as you can see. It has expired and it hasn't been renewed. Let me just have a look at Johan. Let's have a look see if anything else has been done. Hmm. Without sort of diving into this, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, I thought that would have, it has kept us on the patents office. There's granted, published. 
and that's like a toolbox system meths utilizing a novel he's got quite a few freaking things open on here he's got lots and lots of them I don't think he's renewed it or added to it I mean there's, there's 15 freaking results for the guy all right and I'm no I don't think I'm seeing much else here and this is a different person oh no it isn't it's still the same person <laughs> Blade antenna and wireless local network. Compro this guy's a freaking genius. Freaking genius guy. Yes, but yeah, we're, we're not, I'm not seeing anything. No, there's no other patents on the super formula. So it does look like it's expired. So I think Hello Games can rock on with it. I mean, I'm no legal freaking eagle, but when it says expired for lifetime. So yeah, there's nothing else that's been filed against this, this patent. So I would love to see the Super Formula come into iteration for No Man's Sky. Heck yes, I do. There we go, peeps. That's, that's my main wish. I hope to see a lot more variation upon planets with Inside 2023. Right, so, peeps, that's kind of like my main wish. I mean, if I could have just one wish, that would be it. Add the Super Formula. I know that they made Next Gen as a version. They called it Next Gen Update. I mean, I'm just going to jump back on your Google on the other screen. I'll stay, keep myself nice and big for a second. But yeah, so they made an update, called it Next Gen. And the only thing it really brought to um, Next Gen consoles were re reflections on the surfaces inside the stations. But it wasn't true ray tracing. It's just some clever shader stuff that they've done. So we have got, you know, the Switch version now. The Switch version is very separate to all the other iterations in a roundabout way. It hasn't got, you know, the whole... Mm, hasn't really got the whole sort of caboodle, has it? You know, the whole kit and caboodle. It hasn't got multiplayer, for example, has it? You know? Um, so, yeah. Next gen. Generation. Uh, da -da -dun -dun. I'm still looking for the... There we go. Next generation update. Let me bring that back up onto the screen. Watch on. Boom. There we go. So this is the next gen's update. Let's scroll on down. So what this? Here you go. I hit the I hit the trailer. That's probably the best way to show you what's in it. I'm gonna have to mute it though. We are. But this is that every atom procedural, every rock, tree, fish, whatever. Yeah, all procedural. I I would argue not the case. You know, even now in current iteration, I would say that is not the case. So here we go. And uh, yeah, they brought in a lot more foliage. They uplifted the graphics. They added a little bit more bloom to some of the lighting effects. Is this um, is this top quality again? I wish it would just bloody remember what you've asked it to blink in B. <laughs> but there we go. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? But yeah, I would like to see a heck of a lot more come into the procedural generation of the elements. Like it says every single rock, every single plant or whatever. I mean, you can see that if you look at those two rocks that are just there, they're probably identical, but just rotated slightly differently. A lot of the time, they haven't even got a lot of scale going into it. So every rock that you see of the same sort of size and the shape, it just feels copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. So it makes it feel like going over the next mountain, you're just going to see what's on the previous side of said mountain. But if every tree has its own wavy davy bends and every rock is different sizes, different shapes, it would make for a more organic or believable sort of planet, you know? But yeah, what I was getting at though, when it comes to next gen, I would love to see perhaps on next gen consoles and bringing in all the things that they can do with like PC in a roundabout way, maybe even making it so when you jump from system to system, they add mods onto each of the different systems to make every system feel different. I mean, I don't think they can do that on previous generation of consoles. I mean, technically, the next gen consoles, the PlayStation 5s, the Xbox S and S or whatever, they're now current gen. I mean, they, they're established as current gen. So I would love to see current gen version of no man's sky come about i know they called this next gen but this was getting ready for when playstation 5 actually dropped and also xbox series x and s or whatever so yeah i don't really know xbox versions people but yeah it did get a bit of a facelift but i would like to see that facelift 
taken up a notch, even if it does mean that it then puts the next gen consoles or current gen consoles on a completely different separate plateau to the rest of the iterations. And you know, Xbox, the old Xbox, the old PlayStation and Switch kind of sit together, whereas then PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox X and S, they start pushing No Man's Skies to its limits and sort of then it entices people to look for the next gen platform and to move forward with No Man's Sky. And then they can keep the other separate free iterations with little mini updates coming in, but then maybe fully support the next gen and the PlayStation and the PC versions further and do more with their actual engine and make their engine as good as it can be and bring as much into the actual world as possible. I mean, here it says Fuller Worlds, which is great. Yes, it put a lot more abundance to flora and sort of detail and all that sort of shenanigans in. But now I'd like to see some more organic type stuff in there. Things that bring in the variety and make you want to stay on those planets for a lot longer and go over said yonder hill. Maybe add in new building types bigger sort of settlements. In fact, do a whole settlements overhaul is what I would like to see because currently settlements, the buildings there, although that they're pretty nice when they're put together, what do they actually do? They don't really do too much. The buildings don't really have much rhyme or reason other than the actual overseer's office and the saloon and maybe the marketplace, but all the other buildings themselves, I would like to see rhyme and reason added to them. Add in maybe a geologist there that you can take your geology scans to and they give you maybe a new sort of attachment to your mining laser or at least let you change the color of your mining beam to your preference. That sort of thing. Give some sort of rhyme and reason to the buildings. Add in vendors, all different vendors. I mean, that's just one idea. I've got tons of them. I made a video not so long ago on how settlements could be overhauled. I put a video in the top right corner. Anyhow, it says here 32 player multiplayer. Well, that's the case. But not on console? Heck no, it's not. It says here, the first time on console, up to 32 players can join forces and build. Seriously, they can't. They really honestly can't. I think the most people that I've had in a singular instance is 16, then it capped out. Actually, it was about 12, actually 12, something like that. It's nowhere even close. It's not even close to half. So yeah, and all we was doing was the egg giveaway, and it, it maxes out. It doesn't, there's not, that's not true. That is not true. Okay, 4K at 60 frames per second. Yeah, that is, that is. I, I, I'm getting those sort of frame rates. Do I get them in the Nexus, though, inside of multiplayer on the Spatial Anomaly? No, no, I don't. And you can't actually see each other's capes, which, again, I'd like to see that enhanced or whatever. But there's a lot of things here that they said that they were going to deliver inside of the next-gen update that they actually haven't. So I'd like them to revisit this in the new year of 2023, maybe make it so that every atom, every fish, every plant, every rock that you see at the start of every one of these videos is actually a true statement because I honestly don't think that is. It almost feels like they're, they're um, created assets that have been placed via uber noise, not procedurally generated by the engine. No, um, all these are like prefabs that have just been placed, in my opinion, and I, you, you can tell. You can visually tell that that's the case. You know, anyhow, let's uh, scroll on down. Warp speed times, yeah, that's all great. A lot of this stuff they did actually deliver upon, which is cool, but there's a lot of bits and bobs inside of this update that, no, they didn't really overly achieve what they were setting out to do. So yeah, I would like to see that happen. I would like to see a true next-gen update, maybe even look at using some of the elements of Unreal Engine 5. I don't know how realistic that is to bring it inside of the actual engine that No Man's Sky have created and crafted themselves, but if they could use Lumen for the complete light experience to save them a load of sort of rendering time and all sorts of other shenanigans if it was done by Lumen, and maybe if they looked at the uh, polygonization one, I can't remember what they called it now, but that one's pretty darn freaking epic as well. So it, it lets you have more triangles and more polygon counts. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a vectoring model, but I can't remember what they actually called the thing. But there we go, people. That's my wish list for 2023. I would like to see a next gen update overhaul to No Man's Sky that brings in the super formula, brings in a lot more variation to planets, and actually delivers on that promise of every single rock, tree, fish, bird, plant, whatever, all procedural. I would like the procedural engine facelift for next gen consoles. And when I say next gen consoles, we are at current gen now. Surely there must be a line and we need to move beyond it. Now we've got the switch version and they're bringing out the apple os version maybe now is a good time to say okay right previous generation the playstations the old xboxes 
the Switches and the iOS, that's one version of No Man's Sky. But now there's this version of No Man's Sky for PC and the next generation of consoles. And boom, and, and, and I have that sort of marginal split. And I know there's a lot of people that aren't going to like that idea because they're on the older generation of console and the new generation of console isn't cheap and it's not hard to get, and it's really hard to get hold of. So I do feel for those people that might get left behind with this idea in some way, shape or means, but I'm not saying Hello Games to give up on the previous gens. They've only just brought it to Switch. So they would still put updates out for Switch and previous gen. It's just that when they put out something for next gen, it's just going to have that graphical facelift that it needs to have to stay relevant against all the other games that are coming over onto Unreal Engine 5. So it's just a case of next year I'd like to see some of the Unreal Engine 5 benefits appear inside of the No Man's Sky engine and also I would like to see a massive overhaul to the mathematics that sits behind how these planets become livable, breathable places that you want to explore on the next gen consoles. I want something that pushes the next gen consoles to the max. Heck yes I do, but at the moment it does feel that optimization is off somewhat, considering we don't have the 32 player lobbies like it states inside of this update. And uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of the other bits and bobs that it states inside of this update. So yeah, that, that's kind of where I am with this, people. I would like to see an overhaul to the next gen update, an overhaul to the settlements, and an update to the actual procedural engine. So there we go. That's my big super wish list for 2023. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. Hello Games are working on their new IP, whatever that is, their new game. And um, I'd imagine that they're, they're tweaking that with this new engine. Who knows? Maybe that would be closer to what their original vision was for No Man's Sky. But we can only wait and see. And I'm hoping on the 6th of December, which is tomorrow... <laughs> Watch that rolled round quick. Yeah, there's the Game Awards show. Let's hope that Hello Games wins Best Community, and let's hope that they do say something about their new title that's in the works. Or if they don't say something about their new title in the works, perhaps, hopefully, they might say something around, you know, what they're hoping to bring to No Man's Sky in 2023. Anyway, that's enough from me, and uh, yeah, we'll reconvene next time in my next video. So stay tuned, and if you haven't hit that like, subscribe, and all those sort of buttons, please do. It means the world to me and my channel. Take care. Cheerio, bye.